Allows us to see what the fire is doing, the different phases of a fire, and it lets you know whether or not you have time or no time. And so it tells you if you need to cool the upper atmosphere, cool the walls, if you need a vent, and all of those different things. So this type of training is invaluable for us. So, and the guys who are here, the trainees, um, Dan Sarna, uh, Jason Welsh, uh, Steve Smirchich, Michael Brooks, Dave Rudia, and all the other uh, personnel that are here training, uh, they are really top-notch firefighters. They've done a lot of training, and so because of that, they are guys I would absolutely want training on new people. All it takes is seconds not watching the fire and you can be in trouble. So I can use this to reach out and tap people, um, get their attention, tell them to move, tell them what to do. And then I can use this to point out different fire behavior. Because if you stick your hand up there, I mean, it'll be, it'll be 800 degrees. And, you know, it's going to be 1,000 at the ceiling for sure. So when we light this up, think of everything we talked about, right? Arrangement of the fuel, path of fuel. We have a light flashy fuel inside. All of our solids will start to preheat. As the flashy fuel starts to go up, it'll preheat our solids. will start to emanate the gas, combustible gases. We got pretty good ratio of fuel to room volume. We got a big room. But the way this is built and constructed, the arrangement, everything's vertical, right? Not horizontal. So it's going to perpetuate the burning. Charge your bottles. Everybody down. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Now look at already the energy indicators. We look at blistering tape, right? Look at our blistering. We look at smoke patterns. We look at embers that are being pushed past us. If we see embers, we know being pushed past us, we know we have energy. Our solids are now getting heated. We release the combustible gases are burning. Look at our smoke. We've got our fire supplier now. Our fire starts to hit above us. Look at the change of smoke. See the change of smoke. Down there in the can. Okay, get the top. Bring it back to the fire. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Get it Get it down. 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 Get Look how close it's back here. Look at this fire. Good work, good work. See this fire. Look at that gas is coming back now. We're going to hit against the corner. We're going to bank it up. Look at you pushing the smoke out. Hit it. Lock it back. Hit it. 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 Get hot. Okay, let's watch. 
Over is when the room gets to a certain temperature. It, it, it occurs between 1200 and 1500 degrees, and water vapors, um, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, every, the water vapors break down to hydrogen, oxygen, it separates. So the atmosphere is full of hydrogen, which is combustible, oxygen, which is, which is an oxygenating agent, and then uh, carbon monoxide is combustible at those temperatures. Um, carbon dioxide, which was retarding the fire because CO2 is an extinguishing agent breaks down in the whole room um, the gas is just ignited at one time and the room goes from on the floor from 300 degrees where we are to about 1500 in a matter of seconds so this is a typical house we have furniture we have class A fuel source but no more fuel source as soon as we get flame and pitchment on the ceiling it's going to start to roll a little bit harder start to see the couches and the material start to go off and right now everything's pretty slow you know it's a slow burning fire it's nothing but when do we get the call because if we started timing this from the time we started this fire to flash over an engine isn't even on scene yet now look at the change of smoke right now look at these conditions changing look at the difference inside smoke starting to get down right here we gotta start the flash get ready to flash get ready on your get ready on the nozzle Ready? Get ready to flash. It's coming down. Get flame out. Oh, I can feel some good radiant heat. Flash it. Hit it. Hit it. No, some atmosphere. The fog. Straight oh, oh, Open it all the way. I told you guys. Open it out. Stay at it. Open it out. 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 That's a fatality right there, folks. That's what it looks like. That's why we're not playing around. Okay? This is what your future can be. If you guys want to play around, stay, hang out in the stations, wear your shorts all day, and not pay attention to fire behavior and what it takes to do our job. And it's a pretty ugly ending. Thank you. 